leading cause of blindness in the United States is macular degeneration, and it can be a devastating problem not only for the patient, but also for the family and friends of that uh, patient. While we continue to make advances in the use of certain medications to uh, stabilize uh, macular degeneration, there's really been very little that we could do for patients with end-stage macular degeneration. These patients are desperate in that they really have no central vision. And while they aren't blind in the true sense of the word, they can walk around, they won't bump into furniture and things like that, their central vision is totally gone. And so their ability to read, to drive, to even see the meals on their plate um, is greatly diminished. Recently, uh, technology that I w was the medical monitor for and partook in the clinical investigation of is a technology called the intraocular miniaturized telescope. And of course, as we all know, a telescope magnifies things many, many times. The idea here then is, is to implant a lens implant at the time of surgery, just like we do with any other intraocular lens, but this is a very, very special lens implant. Because of the high magnification that we can get with a telescope, the whole idea of the telescope is put into this specialized lens. And so the patient sees a very magnified view of what it is that they're looking at. And so even though the central portion of their vision may have been blinded by macular degeneration, because things are so magnified, they extend beyond the area of damage from the macular degeneration so that patients can actually see centrally some objects if they hold them in the right uh, distance from their eye. Now, this is certainly a technology that's being used really for end-stage macular degeneration, and this is not a cure for macular degeneration. But what it is is a very valuable low vision aid that patients can use to help them to see things up close and even to some degree at a distance much, much more magnified than they have in the past and allows them to have some central vision. The other item with regard to this lens is that it really needs to be in a patient who has a cataract. So the lens has to be replaced at the time that this is put in. If you've already had cataract surgery, then unfortunately this is not a technology that's quite mature yet for that particular circumstance, but one that I foresee happening in the future.